Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Check out my Patreon, for downloading the templates, and sound effects if you need. Anyway, today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Skillshare.com. Skillshare is an online learning community, with thousands of classes in design, video editing, motion graphics, and more. You can join any class, try any project, and take them anywhere, anytime. Learn, collaborate, and even teach a class of your own. Premium membership gives you unlimited access, to high quality classes from experts, working in their fields so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. Visit the link in the description, and get your two months of Skillshare Premium Access for free. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Baby Driver Text. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution and a frame rate of 60. Let's make the duration 5 seconds longer, and then hit OK. Now, the first step is to create a new solid. Let's call it the background. Click on the make comp size, and I am using this color for it. You are free to use any color you want. Now go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. You can download this font from the link in the description. Please note, this animation will work on this type of font only, so make sure you have the same font. I am keeping both words on their own separate layer, so that we can animate them individually. Now select both layers, and align them into the center. Make sure to give them some breathing space, else the design may not look exactly what we are looking for. Now right click on the baby text, and pre-compose it. Let's call it baby main text, and then hit OK. Now pre-compose the driver text as well, and we will call it the driver main text. Cool. Now go to around 1 second position, select both layers, then press P, to open position. Now add a keyframe on it. Then go to the first frame position, and change the driver text Y position to around 280. Also, change the baby text Y position to around 780 pixels. If you check the animation, this is what we have now. Not bad. Now unselect any selected layer, and then go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid color, and my stroke is set to the none. Use any color you want, and then create a rectangle, to cover up the drive text completely. The size should not be bigger, or shorter than the text size. Cool. Let's rename this layer as the drive mask. Now we are going to mask out the text from this shape layer. If you don't see your track mat tab here, press F4 to switch between. In case you don't want to touch your keyboard, then right click here. Go to the columns, and select modes, as well as switches. Because we are going to need both of them. Now, change the driver text layer track mat to alpha inverted mat. And the text will appear, only outside of this rectangle shape. Let's do the same with the baby text. Make a duplicate layer of this driver mask, and place it above the baby text layer. Let's call it the baby mask. And then select the baby text layer and change the track mat to alpha mat. Check the animation, and now your text should look like this. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Open graph editor, if your graph doesn't look like this, then right click here, and select edit speed graph. Now select keyframes one by one, and change the curve to something like this. 
switch back to the timeline. And let's turn on the motion blur, for both layers, then click here to activate it. Cool. Here we have this nice looking animation. Select all layers, and press U, to minimize all layers, and let's move to the next step. Now we are going to mask out the straight line from the text, and we will place them onto the separate layer. Please watch these steps carefully. Select the driver text layer, then go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. Again, make sure the layer is selected. And then draw a rectangle, around this shape. Everything inside this rectangle mask will appear only. But we need to do this for the other letters as well. And I cannot see any of them, so let's change the mask type to none for now. And then start drawing other rectangles around these text shapes. Make sure to cover this shape only, not the entire shape. Change the mode to none, and then, do the same, for all other straight shapes of this text. If you can see, I am just adding a mask around these straight shapes only. Cool. Now select all mask of this layer, by holding the shift key on your keyboard, and change mask type to subtract. Here, the shapes will disappear. Now make a duplicate of this layer, make sure to place it on top of all layers. And then press M, to open a mask. Select all masks, and change the mask type to add. And the shapes will appear once again. If you solo this layer by clicking here, you can see the shape is placed on its own separate layer. This is what we need. Now we have the text, and the straight shape line on their own separate layers. Let's minimize this layer, and we will call it the driver straight lines. Let's do the same with the baby text as well. Select the layer, and start creating a rectangle mask around the straight lines of the text shape. Cool. Now select both masks, and change their type to subtract. As well as, make a duplicate of it. And place it below the driver straight line layer. Also, change the track mat to none. Now open masks, by pressing M. Select both masks, and change the mask type to add. Check the animation. And this is what we have now. Cool, let's move to the final step. Select both layers, and press P, to open position. Here we have these two keyframes, let's delete the first keyframe, from both layers, now go to the first frame. And we will change the Y position for both layers. But make sure you can see the full frame. Let's change the window size to fit 100%. And then for the baby text, I'll change the Y position value to negative 28. And for the driver layer, the Y position will be around 1100 pixels. Cool. This is how it should look now. Now open graph editor, select the keyframes, and change the curve to something like this. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. If you want to download pre-made templates, sound effects, and stock footage, make sure to visit the Envato Elements, you can check the link in the description. <laughs>